is up, guys. So I was told by a certain friend of mine, uh, a good friend named Johnny, that since we're all in this quarantine nonsense, I figured we'd uh, post videos reviewing our cars and telling people about our cars. So I'm going to tell you about my car. So it is a 1994 BMW 318i. Uh, it's a giant work in progress, but come on over here with me, I'll take you around the car and tell you a little bit about it. A little summary on the car. Uh, it was, it came to me as a $400 pile of junk. This entire back end back here was completely full of trash. Like it was really, really, really bad. But, uh, brief summary of the car. It has the stock M42 in it with a AM Innovation uh, air filter adapter with just a standard, you know, Spectra four inch intake. Uh, so the stock air box is gone. It is on Max Speeding Rods coilovers. Uh, pretty solid, they're very stiff, which is great for handling, not so great for long drive, which I just got back from one, by the way. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, the splitter is made in-house. Made that myself, along with a good friend of mine, Devin. We actually based it off of his splitter for his S2000. Still gotta get some trim right around in here, along the front, and some in the back. But uh, waiting on some end plates, also from AM Innovation. Um, a lot of stuff in this engine bay that needs to be fixed. Uh, the headlight needs to be replaced. Great cooling system all together needs to be replaced, but it's slowly coming along and it hasn't failed me, hasn't let me down whatsoever. Uh, 262,000 miles on the stock block. Actually, we broke we broke 263,000 today. But uh, a huge part of why this car is still running and holding up so well is these two right here, FCP Euro and Lipa Molly. They have never let me down. But it is on JNC 005 wheels. 17 by eight and a half, uh, plus 30 offset, squared all the way around, on a 225 45 R17 Cooper RS3 G1s. Um, really solid tires, very grippy. Uh, I've both dry and wet and have had no issues. Um, the wing is an Aerospeed carbon fiber wing. It is real carbon fiber, but uh, Hopefully soon this will get replaced with some love from Nine Lives Racing. But uh, let me take you inside the car. Nothing fancy, of course. I have the NRG Quick Release and Short Hub, which is attached to my Avenue Performance steering wheel, which I so dearly love and I'm a huge fan of. Outside of that, I have a Kirky. 16 series seat, older seat, but it's good, solid, uh, very snug fit, which is of course what you want when you're building a track car. Uh, just got some cheap old ass harnesses in there right now. Got a Bridge Moto 5 point SFI harness on the way. Got some brackets from Race German and Sparco floor mount. And back here is gutted of course, because it will be getting some love from Kinematic Speed up in Charlotte. Huge shout out to Sam. He builds awesome cages and knows the E36s very well and I'm super excited to be working with him on that. But other than that, around here on the back, just got a spec D tuning, universal muffler, nothing fancy. Fairly loud, not too obnoxiously loud, but it, it does get pretty, pretty wild. But other than that, it's been a pretty solid car. It's been pretty good to me. Um, it's never left me stranded anywhere, and it's always a blast to drive. Um, the car not for your own TV and for you to look at your own car. That is Joseph Merck, Brian Wright, Devin Lennox, and James Wood. We'll make it four. So post them up, guys. Review your own car in your quarantine situation or wherever, and give us a rundown of your car. See you guys later.